Well, tonight, a very close call for an Indianapolis family. A manhole cover landed on their minivan and nearly crashed the windshield. Mom was at the wheel, and she fed, said she thought she was going to die. Yeah, tonight, our own Rich Van Wyke has the family story and the questions they still want answered right now. CB Arena is driving down English Avenue with her husband and her daughter when all of a sudden, without warning, that manhole cover jumps up and comes flying right at them. It went all the way over here, kicked my, the, the, the glass, and then fly to the other side. A manhole cover? Yes. And in that instant, Oriana feared for her life and the lives of her loved ones. I just, you know, put my life in God because it's very scary. It's very dangerous. Four o'clock Friday afternoon on the heavily traveled thoroughfare, Oriana saw the steel disc flying right at her, but said there was too much traffic to swerve and get out of its way. I just feel lucky because um, I have a lot. I'm still alive because if he from if it don't hit him over here, it can go straight. Through and the windshield. To the windshield. And as into can, you. Into me and my husband. Police arrived and began investigating. Oriana photographed the open manhole, the cover that landed in the grass, and another nearby manhole that popped open. The minivan is badly damaged. It's insured, but not for an accident like this. A family with seven children and a grandmother in poor health suddenly has no transportation. Today, she have an appointment. We have to miss the appointment. Kids, they have to be walk, or I have to have somebody borrow me a car and go get them. IPL played with exploding manholes in the past. Check this one out. A spokesperson says it's not theirs. It is a sewer line. Oriana has been making phone calls, looking for answers. Who foots the bill? Well, right now, we don't know. While the family is struggling to put its routine and life back together, it's also wondering who's going to help repair the family van. So far, no one's jumped up to take responsibility. Rich Van Wyke, Channel 13, Eyewitness News.